very much for coming back to the Sunday show. Okay, so um, let's play this um, bloodbath comment from um, that rally in Ohio yesterday. We're going to put a 100 percent tariff on every single car that comes across the line. And you're not going to be able to sell those cars if I get elected. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. But they're not going to sell those cars. So, Governor Whitman, you know, he loves to mush a lot of stuff in in what he says. And then his campaign says, oh, he was only joking or, oh, it was taken out of context. He wasn't talking about violence in the country. I call BS on that. Am I wrong? No, you're absolutely right. That is BS on that. He was definitely sending a call to his supporters to have a reprise of January 6th. But even worse, because he is calling when he says bloodbath, that means more of the weapons that we saw on January 6th. And it's it's appalling to have an ex-president. Former is for someone who was defeated in the polls. X is for someone who was, I mean, former is for someone who just left. X is for someone who was defeated. The ex-president, an ex-president of the United States to say that and follow it up with that'll be the end of elections as we know them. I mean, he's being pretty clear about what he wants to do should he get back in power. And I think it's, it would be shame on us if we ignore this. Um, we saw it. It happened back in the 1930s when a fellow called Hitler wrote Mein Kampf, and he said exactly what he was going to do in that. I don't think Donald Trump could write a book, but he's giving it to us verbally. Oh, yeah. Briefings and press conferences. Um, we've got how many more months before the, the November election? He's going to keep saying things like this. How do you please explain to the American people who are watching why it is imperative that we not only listen to what he says, but oh. that we have to report what he says so that they yeah. know what they could be getting and getting ourselves into? 30 years, 34 percent of the automobile manufacturing business in our country. Think of it. Went to Mexico. China now is building a couple of massive plants where they're going to build the cars in Mexico and think, they think, that they're going to sell those cars into the United States with no tax at the border. Let me tell you something to China. If you're listening, President Xi, and you and I are friends, but he understands the way I deal, those big monster car manufacturing plants that you're building in Mexico right now, and you think you're going to get that, you're going to not hire Americans, and you're going to sell the cars to us now, we're going to put a 100 percent tariff on every single car that comes across the line. And you're not going to be able to sell those cars if I get elected. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. But they're not going to sell those cars. They're building massive factories. A friend of mine, all he does is build car manufacturing plants. He's the biggest in the world.